It's a great segue into structure because Dr. Hosmillo is going to be speaking about structure. But I'm really excited to have him here today. When we were putting our list together of who we wanted to talk with, one of the young ladies who is actually at St. Mary's right now is one of his patients. And when we talked to her and we said, okay, what, what has worked for you? She's a freshman and doing very well, has had had a lot of OCD, had a PANDAS diagnosis and sensory issues. She's done a lot of these therapies. And she said one of the things that she will not miss is her Dr. Ismillo appointment. So that's a great segue to tell you he's here today to talk about structure. First to start off, just to thank Julie and Dana for putting this together. I think this is a pretty remarkable conference here. I think it's about time that everyone got together and instead of being isolated, actually worked together to get these kids together. That's the ultimate goal, I think, for this conference. And I hope everybody, when they leave this place, can feel that way. So my topic today is a chiropractic neurology approach to childhood learning disorders. First of all, you're probably asking yourself, what is chiropractic neurology? Well, obviously, people have heard of chiropractic. but there's a subspecialty in chiropractic that actually is called chiropractic neurology. Um, there's a belief that the brain development takes pretty much starts in childhood and stops. But we know now that the brain constantly develops over time. We know that the brain really responds to environment as well. We know that uh, sensory information gathered by these receptors in the muscles, in the joints, for example, affect brain systems. So as chiropractic neurologists, that's what we look at. It's not just looking at the spine, but it's looking at how everything goes through the spine to change brain function. Because we know when you're born, that's not it. We know we can still make neurons, we can make new connections. And as a result of that, that's how we know we can make changes in these kids. A chiropractic neurologist is a specialist in brain-based therapies, which allows us to basically understand the brain's role in joint and muscle function. Just like what Sarge was saying, function is a big role. As we look at it, structure also plays a big role as well. So it's important for us to understand the brain, the nervous system, the spine, all those receptors, how they work together to change a child's brain. Now, how do we approach this? Because I know some of you have been to a chiropractor and you probably hear, I'm going to get cracked, right? Well, one of the things that we do, it's not, we're not going to crack a child. I don't think that's right to do, but we'll do things besides the adjustment to get a child functioning better. Because we know during development things aren't right. We know the brain and nervous system may be out of place. And that misplacement, a misalignment can actually affect a child's development, function, structure, um, emotions, a whole bunch of different things which I'll talk about more in the afternoon session. But the one thing that allows us to find out what's going on with a child is we know that the brain and the spine work together. A child's touch has to go through the spine, eventually goes to the brain. But if they can't touch because it's, or they can't hold you, or they, they feel things are too hot or too cold, that tells us the structure isn't right. So for us, as chiropractic neurologists, we want to make sure that starts to function better. So in this big integrated system, the brain, nervous system, we look at the whole entire child. It's not just one piece, it's not just one part that's off, right? We know with these kids, everything works together. I mean, a child may have a problem holding something, but have also emotional responses as well. Because everything, to me, as chiropractic neurologist, works together as one system. You can't isolate one and just leave it at that. That's where the beauty of this conference is, it can allow us to look at everything. Because I think that's most important for these complex kids. And we know that when these kids have decreased stimulation around the joints, around the spine, what does that lead to? Poor muscle control. So we have these kids with poor coordination, poor muscle tone. Even these are the kids with even fine motor skills maybe off where they can't button the clothes. So what do we do? We force them to try to do it, right? But we know it's not just that. We know it's deeper than that. We know that the spine and the brain wants to make that connection. We know that certain parts of the brain control certain motor skills. We know another part of the brain controls muscle tone. So in our office, we look at it as chiropractic neurologists, we look at how it all works together as one, because you can't do one without the other, in my opinion. Now, depending on the location of this dysfunction, chiropractic neurologists will look at the muscles, the joints, and the nervous system. So our approach is, I think, holistic. I think it's whole. We don't, like I said, look at a child and say, you just have this 
diagnosis and that's it. For us, when a child comes to our office, they can come from autism to ADHD to dyslexia to poor coordination. To us, it's not just those diagnoses. We look at everything. To me, that's the most important thing. Because ultimately, if you get brain and some functioning better, gut works better, all these supplements everybody takes starts to work better as one. So for us, we have to look at the whole entire child. And then people ask, well, how do you treat these kids? We'll do the chiropractic adjustments, but it's more low force. We'll use an instrument where it's a little tapping. It's because that vibration is actually a good way to create more sensory input into a child's spine. And we'll also teach these kids, edu uh, we call it neuromuscular education exercises, which I'll go in more detail in the 60 minute presentation, because it's important to not only through the adjustment, but also making sure these kids get the proper input while they're visiting us. It also will take home as well, but these exercises are very important to make these proper input to the brain and nervous system. Um, we'll also talk about visual stimulation. Um, eyes, to me, are very important because we know through a lot of research that the eyes, neck, the spine are all connected as one. So you can have these kids who say they can't read, but they can read, but they just can't follow or track. And so they diagnose, well, this person has a poor reader. We know it's not the case because they can't track because the spine can be out. We know the neck muscles work together with that. So there's a poor coordination between the eyes and the neck, and we call it the vestibular system as well. So it's important for us as chiropractic neurologists to look at that whole entire system. And then because of a weakness in the vestibular system, we have a weakness in the balance centers too as well. So these are kids that come in with poor coordination, can't catch a ball. They'll catch it like this. But now we know what happens with these kids when we start to work with them, which system is weak. You can't keep throwing a ball to a kid who catches like this. It's not going to work. But we have to do is get the spine, the vestibular, so all the connect between the brain and the system functioning better. And we also will talk about other sensory inputs to the brain as well. So as an approach to our, for us, is important for us to look at every single child differently, but also where's the weakness in their spine? Because a child has one weakness, we know it's throughout the whole entire nervous system, and for us, we have to find which part it is and start to rehab that properly. Um, in, in the afternoon session, I'll go in more detail what these treatments entail, and how long it takes, but more importantly, I think it's important just for everyone to understand that these kids, these complex kids, need addressing throughout the whole entire system. It's not just one thing, it's diets, everything together. So that's why I'm so excited with Julie, with this conference, that we are allowed to tell you what we do and also allow you to help your child as well. And I, so in the end, I hope to entail, or entail, to basically help everybody understand as chiropractic neurologists what we do here, because understanding the brain nervous is very important to me. Chiropractic is just one aspect of it, but it's a very powerful aspect because the spine is a very powerful tool to get the brain functioning better.